Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about this week? It, it is on man another wonderful spectacular weekend of fights coming up and i tell you what this fight right here now i was really ready to sink my teeth into this fight and still is and can't wait oh the fight that i'm talking about <laughs> my bad javante tank davis versus roley romero man oh man you know fighters around the world is chiming in you know people giving their take on who they expect to win even fighters that have fought both Roland Romero and well sparred with Javante Tank Davidson sparred with Roland Romero all had choices and people that they chose and things of that nature but uh you know, like one of them was Hitchens. He said that, oh, Davis going to take that. He said Davis going to take that, man. Um, and one of the reasons why, um, you know, he was saying that uh, he chooses Javante Tank Davis is because, you know, look, he, he basically even, he even said, um, that you know, Roland Romero, man, his footwork really isn't all there, you know. And look, Hitchens' last fight, you know, a hey, Richardson Hitchens boy, a hey, he ain't no joke now, he ain't no joke, don't play. But you know, he basically was just commenting that you know, he sparred with both fighters. He was like, you know, the good thing about Javante Tank Davis, he really actually can box. He even said that. He was like, a lot of people just look at the knockouts and say, oh, he's a good knockout fighter or whatever. But people don't realize that he don't stop guys early in the first, second, third round. You know, he he fights them till six, seven, eight, ninth round, tenth round sometimes and get him out of there. So it lets you know that he has the boxing paralysis to be able to withstand any other boxers right now. Does he get hit? Yeah, he gets hit. But what Hitchens was talking about is, is that Javante Tank Davis got better footwork than Roly Romero. Roly Romero can't really dance his way out of shots which he has an awkward style to him and he can actually hit off of different angles and a lot of that probably comes from his martial art background and so forth but footwork is everything in boxing because the later the rounds get and the more dancing your foot is the more someone can catch you off balance and hit you and knock you you know onto you off your feet so a lot of footwork is involved with boxing that a lot of people don't look at and Rolly Romero just doesn't really have it now on the other end Teofimo Lopez he said that he put a hundred thousand on Rolly Romero a hundred thousand I'm definitely interested to see how that go he said he didn't bet on two people he just bet on one because he know <laughs> okay okay Tio you know huh <laughs> Too bad you didn't know uh, <laughs> Cam Bosa was going to clip you and take that belt. Take all your belts, around. But anyway, I digress. So other fighters, you know, were basically saying who they choose and why they choose. You know, you might want to say majority said Javante Tank Davis. Only a few said Roller Romero. Uh, people that said Roller Romero, then, you know, they really don't like take Davis or Mayweather and they said hey you know Roley can crack but you know can he you know the last two fights he had they were kind of like gimmies he fought three fights his last three fights and two of them ended with really he 
lost, you know, and they were giving it to him by split decision. So that's what I look at. That's what I go off of. Now, can Roley sell a fight? Yeah. Can Roley keep you entertained? Yeah. Can Roley just say anything and everything to make you laugh and talk about the fight? Yeah. But can he deliver in that ring that night? I wouldn't put a hundred grand on it. I can tell you that for a fact. <laughs> T.O. That guy there, boy, he definitely bumped his head. Shoot. If I put a hundred grand on rolling, then I'm putting 200 on Javante. <laughs> and that's real. <laughs> so, but on to other subjects of the news. Even Javante Tank Davis had something to say. Not about Roland Romero because we already know what these guys been talking about, man. Hey, they just don't like each other. A lot of it they said stem from uh, Javante Tank Davis not sparring Roland Romero twice, and uh, basically, you know, two off uh, offer came up, you know, schedule la 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 didn't work, so boom, postponed it. Hit Roy again. Oh, you know, I uh, want to get you to spar with Devontae Tank Davis. And, and whatever, whatever reason, it didn't work out. And he didn't get the sparring session. So from then on, Roller Romero, I guess he looking at it like this bread that I could have had. Screw you. Forget you. So that's where the animosity really came from. And uh, I, then I think uh, they was at an event, you know, some bumping, some shoving. You know, and that just took it from there. You know, I already, you know, Roley already felt some kind of way. So then when he finally meet him face to face, and you know, it's a little bumping and pushing going on. Now, you know, temperatures rising for real, you know. So Roley just feel like, you know, Javante don't want no part of him. He feel like he, he the big risk that he don't want to take, so. We shall see. We shall see how this goes. I'm, I'm very, very eager to see this fight. I know you are. Uh, we all are. This fight been talked about since <laughs> a few years ago. So, you know, it's definitely a fight I want to see. It's uh, two Mayweather fighters on the same promotional company fighting each other. And from what I'm hearing and seeing, it sounds that. Mayweather don't know if Javante Tank Davis is going to stay or not. So he pretty much got two eggs in one basket and see which one he can take out. Um, far as, you know, is Roland Romero going to win? Then he'll become the new poster child for Mayweather promotional team. And if Tank Davis win, then he'll continue on. And hopefully, you know, him and Mayweather be able to sit down and be able to renegotiate the contracts and things of that nature. So, but also, also out of the mouth of Javante Tank Davis, uh, he was on a podcast or whatever, the Last Stand podcast uh, with Brian Custer. And, you know, he basically told Brian Custer, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? After, after I clean Roley up and uh, your boy Devin Haney, if he wins and beat Cambosis, then I want the first crack at the Undisputed. What? Now that right there, y'all, would be a mega, mega fight for the both of them. Devin Haney, can you, can you see it? Devin Haney, the undisputed champion versus Javante Tank Davis. <sighs> undisputed championship of the world. Now that would sell some tickets, my friends. For real, for real. That would be the ultimate test for them both. But I don't see them taking on two fights that early. I don't know. We'll see. I would love it. I know you would love it. And if you do, put something in the comment box and let me know what you think about it. You know, do you think that would be a good fight? Javante Tank Davis versus Devin Haney. Or should Devin Haney uh, find another fight? Um, you got Ryan Garcia out there. You got Isaac Cruz out there. Um... You still got Tiafimo lurking somewhere. <laughs> he he might want to get in the ring and get another hell. <laughs> you know, since he avoided Devin Haney for so long. Um, then you got George Cambosis out there, which I doubt it because he already avoided uh, Devin Haney. He knows his style don't even match up with Devin Haney. So, 
I don't know, but leave in the comment box and let me know who you think Devin Haney should fight. Granted, he win the undisputed title, which he's going to have to do a rematch. So it's going to be a year or two before anything even materializes, um, I would say, of him fighting someone else like a Javante Tank Davis. But we can see that fight happening. So with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. And definitely go to the website, Primetime TimeTalkTV.com and cop you some merch, hat, shirt, something. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out.